Okay, so we have a couple of experiments that ultimately showed human behavior and the effects of social influence on human behavior. Um, a lot of them are quite famous experiments. The Stanford Prison experiment is very, very, I don't even know if I should say famous or like notorious really, because it was really unethical. Um, but it did show a lot. So basically we got participants they had you know random jobs they were all different they didn't know each other i believe um and they randomly got assigned some to be prisoners and some to be guards so we had this little mock prison and they they knew that this is what was going on like they knew that some people would be assigned prisoners some would be assigned guards and that it's a mock situation like no one's a real prisoner or a guard um and then basically they just gave them instructions in terms of you know the guards need to like you know, maintain the behavior of the prisoners, whatever. And they put the prisoners obviously in their, in a typical prisoner environment. Um, and basically everyone just slotted into their roles. So the prisoners became very submissive. They became very withdrawn. The guards who had a lot of this power, obviously they became aggressive. They became, um, really quite ruthless. And if we refer to this, they had coercive power. They had, you know, legitimate power, um, reward power as well, that sort of thing. And even though it wasn't like valid, like, again, they knew it was an experiment. They knew that no one was a real prisoner or a real guard. Um, but it's just this idea of they were assigned roles and some were given power and some weren't, and they just fit right into those roles. Um, and I think it was meant to run over two weeks and it ended after six days or something like that, because a lot of the prisoners had like proper psychological harm. Um, so it's very unethical for that reason. And this idea of withdrawal rights, I think, um, they like the guards like properly punished the prisoners and then um yeah I think they weren't able to sort of withdraw like you know they wanted to withdraw and I think only after yeah those six days I guess um they were like okay oh this is getting a bit dodgy let's end the experiment here um so it was a brief sorry a breach because they weren't able to withdraw when they wanted to um and obviously this idea of beneficence so beneficence is always maximizing good um, and preventing harm and always, you know, minimizing harm at all costs. That's also a bit of non-maleficence, but we'll get to that a little bit later on. But, um, obviously in this case, beneficence wasn't really kept. Um, the researchers kind of observed the prisoners into these really sort of awful states, um, and just observed it. So it wasn't a very ethical, um, experiment, but it was very interesting to see just how, um, I guess, well, everybody fit into their role. So this idea that as soon as these guards were given power, they used it to an insane amount. And the idea that these prisoners kind of, I guess, obeyed them or, you know, were influenced by that as well. So hopefully that makes sense. Um, I'm sure your teachers will go over this experiment, but if they don't, um, definitely take a look at it. It's quite interesting.